Thank you all so very much for joining us on this Monday, October 11, 2021. And we are gathered once again uh, for our weekly empowerment uh, prayer. And we are continuing our series, The Names of God. Uh, and this is a ministry of the Voice of Prayer, Powerful Living Prayer Group. So once again, we thank you so very much for joining us. Today is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And we praise God for each of you that's on. And we thank God for those that will uh, listen at a later time once it's uploaded to uh, the YouTube channel. And we thank God for the uh, participation and, and the many views that we, uh, that we see that once it's uploaded to the uh, Powerful Living Prayer Group YouTube channel. So we give God praise for that. And so on today, we are so thankful that we have an opportunity to look at uh, Jehovah Jireh, the name uh, that uh, we see revealed in Genesis, the 22nd chapter. And we won't read all those verses, but it's actually Genesis, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 14. But the key verses today uh, is verses 13 and 14. So hopefully you can go and read those and allow the Lord to met you to uh, the Lord to reveal some things to you concerning this name. So I'm going to read uh, verses 13 and 14 of the 22nd chapter of Genesis. Abraham looked up, and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Again, that's Genesis 22, verses 13 and 14. So when you look at this entire uh, passage of scripture, we see that God reveals his name in these passages. And it is where Abraham's faith is tested. And not only is it tested, but it is confirmed. How do we know that? Because he raised a knife to sacrifice his son Isaac, whom the Lord had promised. So the Bible says that Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And uh, the Hebrew verb is Raha, which uh, Jira, a Yara is derived from, and it means to see. A lot of times we don't realize this, but uh, it also means to see. And in these particular uh, passages, it is translated as provide. So the thing is that we find encouragement in and comfort is since God sees the future as well as the past and the present, he is able to anticipate and provide for what is needed. And so uh, when we pray to the God, who sees everything, who provides everything, we can find comfort in that. Uh, actually, let me read this way. It says, when you pray to Yahweh Yara, or we, Jehovah Jireh, you are praying to the God who sees the situation beforehand and is able to provide for your needs. Now, we know that in this passage, it is uh, prophetic because G Jesus is the sacrifice lamb that God provided for the sins of humanity. And yet, this is still true for us because as those who have received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord and have received that salvation, that sacrifice lamb of God, then we know that if God provided his only begotten son for us, we ought to know without a shadow of a doubt that he will provide any other needs that we have because of his great love for us, because of his unconditional love for us. 
And so as we look at this particular name, I ask the question, what needs do you have? And then think about what has God already provided for you? We know he's provided salvation for us. But what else has he already provided? See, Abraham had a track record with God. He believed him. And so to take his only begotten son that God had promised to him to that mountain to sacrifice him. And he said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship. And then we will come back. That is faith. That is trust. He said what he believed because he already knew that God had promised him a seed. He already promised him Isaac. And so there is Isaac. There is the reveal promise of God, the manifested promise of God, Isaac. And even though God tells him to go and sacrifice your only son, Abraham, the scripture does not show where he questioned. The scripture says early the next morning, Abraham got up and sell his donkey and took with him two of his servants and his son, Isaac. And he prepared the altar and he put Isaac on the altar tied him down hallelujah and raised the knife the boy asked where is the sacrifice and Abraham said to the boy God himself will provide a sacrifice. I just believe in this day and hour that we have got to have that kind of faith in God, that whatever he asks us to sacrifice, we will be willing and obedient, knowing that he will provide. So this week, whatever need may come up, can you trust God to provide? Can you trust him? Can you stand on his word regardless of how you feel, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what people say? Can you trust God who is faithful? Hallelujah to do what he has promised. So yes, Abraham's test, he passed the test and his faith was confirmed. How do we know that? Because as he raised a knife to sacrifice, to kill Isaac, laid and tied on that altar, he raised a knife and God and the angel said, Abraham, Abraham, do not, do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now that I know that you fear God, you reverence God, hallelujah, you believe God because you have not withheld from me, your son, your only son. So this is the word that God spoke to Abraham. He interrupted Abraham's obedience. Hallelujah. Abraham's reverence and fear of him. And God provided. And the scripture says that Abraham called that place. The Lord will provide. And we know today that he has already provided. He provided the lamb, his son, Jesus. And we have salvation because of him. But what else? 
will he provide. He will provide all that we need. Why? Because of his great love for us. Because he loves us. Hallelujah. He loves everybody. And so as the people of God, I want you to find comfort and believe God and know that God is well able to provide what you need. Not only this week, but for every day of this year, God is able to provide. He is Jehovah Jireh. And we've got to come to a place where we just don't talk the talk, but we put faith in action as Abraham did. So what needs do you have? There are so many needs. And so we're going to pray today. Hallelujah. We're going to pray to the God, our God who sees the situation beforehand. It's no surprise to him. And yet he's able to provide our need. But also remember and reflect on what he's already provided. And that should encourage you and empower you to trust him to provide anything else that you need. Eat peace. Hallelujah. Deliverance, comfort, provision, protection, need direction, need wisdom, need financial breakthrough. Whatever we need in this life, our Father, hallelujah, can provide because everything belongs to him. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to him. Everything belongs to him. And so we're going to pray today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much. We praise you. We honor you. We reverence you. You are our God. You are the Lord who provides. We thank you so very much. Hallelujah. That you have already provided your son, Jesus the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundations of the world. We have the evidence, hallelujah, that you keep your promises and you keep your word. We have the evidence that you have already provided our greatest need, and that is salvation. And we thank you today. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you for rescuing us. We thank you for delivering us. We thank you for providing for us. And yes, the scripture that we reference on the day, we realize that it was prophetic of your son that you would give and sacrifice for the sins of the world. And we thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. For the revelation of who you are. The Lord who provides. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you that we can come to your throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Because you provide that. Your grace you provide, you provide. Thank you for provision. Thank you for all that we ever need. You are our source. Hallelujah. And we give you glory. We honor you. We reverence you, our great God, the one who provides. And yet we know that the needs of many are great. Not only physical needs or needs in the natural, but spiritual needs. But because you provide everything that we need, we can ask you, hallelujah, for those things that we need in the physical realm, in the natural. So Father, today, 
I lift up Deb to you, that request that came. This grandmother who has three small grandchildren who scheduled to be evicted at the end of this month. Father, you own every apartment, every house, everything belongs to you. And so we lift Deb up to you now. And we stand in agreement on your word as the Lord who provides. And we ask you in the name of Jesus to provide. We ask, Father, for your intervention. That place that you have already designated for her because you saw the situation beforehand and you are well able to provide. And so we ask today, manifest your great power and your love for this grandmother and these small children. We ask it. And we believe you. We believe that you would do it. I pray for her strength. I pray that she does not become so discouraged and in despair. That she would trust you. That she will believe and stand on your word. And say and declare as Abraham did. The Lord himself will provide a place for me and these kids. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You get the glory. Father, we pray for those who are in need of comfort. Today, we pray. We pray for those in need of strength. Strengthen them, O oh God. For it is in our weakness that your strength is made perfect. Strengthen today. Strengthen all week. We pray for those who need peace. Peace with God the Father. That peace comes through Jesus the Christ the son of the living God, who is the prince of peace. And so we pray, Father, that their need for peace is met by their receiving, accepting your son, Jesus the Christ. We pray, Lord God, for those who have received him, but have not received the peace that they need in their minds and in their hearts. Father, we pray for those who may need finances. We ask, Lord God, because everything belongs to you. We pray, Lord God, for those who need wisdom in any area of life, wisdom as to how to handle their finances, wisdom and how to Handle that that you have given them stewardship over. Wisdom. I pray, Lord God, provide direction and guidance. You have said that in all our ways we are to acknowledge you and you will direct our path. You shall direct our path. So for those who need direction, Father, hallelujah. For those who need healing in their physical body. Everything that we need, you have already provided, but we pray today for the manifestation of what you have provided. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Healing the mind, healing the physical bodies, healing our emotions. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. have your way. We trust you. Thank you, Father, for being the Lord who provides. 
I pray for protection. Protection. October is designated as domestic violence awareness, blindness awareness, clergy appreciation, breast cancer survivors. Father, we thank you. We thank you for those that you have given grace and mercy to. You have healed them of cancer. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you will provide shelter and protection from those that are in violent, domestic, violent environments and situations, abusive situations. You see and you know. We pray, Lord God, that you will provide a way of escape, that you will provide protection and the resources that's needed to get out of those abusive environments and situations. We pray, Lord. We pray, Father, for those that have been visually impaired. Although they are visually impaired in the natural you have provided for them abilities and skills and technology and resources that will help them. We thank you for that. We give you praise, honor, and glory for everything. Everything, Father. And most importantly, you have provided for us your word. Your word. We pray that it find good ground. Hallelujah. That as your people get to know you through your written word, that you will provide revelation, knowledge, and understanding that all will see Jesus and the truth of your word. Reveal the hidden mysteries of your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so very much. We can't thank you enough. If we had 10,000 tongues, it would be enough to give you all the praise, honor, and thanks that you need, you deserve. And such as we have, we give to thee. We submit ourselves to you. Hallelujah. And we say yes to your will. Yes to your will. We will trust you and we will obey. And you, we will worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And you will get the glory. Thank you for the word on today that you sent to encourage and empower your people and for all who were here, all who will watch the video on the YouTube platform. May they be encouraged and empowered. May they recognize that you are the same God that provided in Genesis, the 22nd chapter, that provided the ram in the bush that prophetically spoke to your son, Jesus the Christ. May they know that you are the same God and that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. And they can receive him as well. For he is the sacrifice that you provided for us all. We give you praise, honor, and glory. This is our prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Father. And may this presence that we feel continue, may it permeate the very atmosphere, the stratosphere, the hemisphere. Oh, bless your glory to God. 
Thank you, Lord. And may someone be encouraged and empowered. This is our prayer as always. And you get the glory. You get the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. With thanksgiving. Amen.